Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to El Caballo Plays. This is episode 49, where we're building the city of Madwoman. The series where I've recently realized how much I've screwed this city up, but, you know, maybe we can try to fix it now? Eh, probably not. <laughs> in this episode, we're going to step away from our area of expansion over in the northeast here and move back to the south and work on Silver Spring and our ore industry area because we don't have any ore industry in this city at all. So I think it's time to build it, don't you? Let's do that. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what's to come here. So this is going to grow very slowly, based on demand, based on what we need. It's not going to... We're not going to go overboard. So, by the same token, we're going to go ahead and kind of reduce some of Calvary Petroleum here. Move the train station over to here, so that this will connect to the uh, oil industry and also connect Excuse me, to this bridge here that I brought back. So, yeah, we're gonna do a bunch of work and we're gonna also create the town of Silver Spring right here. Got all the, uh, the bearings, all the bases to get it started. So, let's do it. Okay, we have our first little area of Silver Spring filling in, and I'm really pleased with it. It's going to have that whole suburban feel, kind of like the real Silver Spring. Um, and the new Calvert Petroleum area is, is starting to fill in as well. Um, I'm going to let these things grow very slowly, including the Cheney Excavation, which only has a few um, ore mines. And that's really it so far. I don't have too much going on. I will continue to develop this slowly. 
And that's going to be the theme of the rest of this episode is, okay, I realize it's important to let industry develop slowly. So when we built this port, we, it was really kind of crammed it in. It was the only space that we could fit with the tiles. We only had like eight tiles at the time. And now we have a whole map available to us. So I'm going to relocate this cargo area over here into this port area and reutilize this land for better use. Um, and I just think it'll work a lot better and it'll kind of free up some of the craziness that's happening over here as well. So I'm just trying to get everything to flow as quickly as possible, as well as possible, not have the traffic issues. And I'm also going to learn my lesson here. And we're going to do what we did with the oil industry and tear this all down and start from scratch. Same thing with the forestry area. So I'm going to build this port. I'm going to dismantle Purdue and restart it based on what I think the community needs and then try not to build it so fast. That was the big mistake that I made when I moved and created these towns and it really kind of messed up the city as a whole. I'm still facing some of the errors that were caused by that. And that's the interesting thing about this game is that if you make one wrong step, it can affect everything because you're simulating an entire ecosystem, you're simulating an entire interconnected series of things. And well, let's uh, draw it back and try to see how we can best salvage this city. Okay, so our port is now active, and now we're going to head over here and see all this agriculture. See all this agriculture area here? We're going to get rid of it and start over from scratch. Rebuild the infrastructure of the industry in Purdue and keep the city. Everything's going on. Alright, so let's show what we've done. We have this clothing factory here that we kind of incorporate in this little neighborhood. We have all these support warehouses right there. And then over here, by the port, we have our other two factories, which are the food factory and the bakery, which is the warehouses corresponding to those as well. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have flour production over here. I'm going to have animal production of food and the crops over here we're going to be very slow we're not going to go over Okay, this is what we'll start with. And then we'll 
see how the time can be spent. And some of these areas will almost certainly become other pieces like this eventually. This will develop into more of a dark area too. So we'll focus on that in a later time. But now we're going to uh, get this running and we're going to Elk Forest. A lot of land, especially in these areas, in both Elk Forest and in Purdue. And we have ample room for growth over here in Silver Spring, a new oil area. We have room for expansion here. We have room to expand our new ore area over here. There's lots going on in this city. And things are going a lot better than they were. So we're going to stop it here. And we'll catch up with you next time. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a great day.